what I'm trying to achieve from my work is give people a way to see the storylines in biology that wouldn't be accessible to many people. I'm Abbott and I'm a ceramicist. I also work as a postdoctoral researcher in molecular biology. During my PhD, I was looking at molecules and I wanted to find a three-dimensional medium that I can translate what I was looking at into something 3D. So I took a beginner's course in ceramics. Within the course, they only give you a certain set of skills and then they just let you do whatever you want to do. I felt that hand building would lead me to something that would feel more natural. The process itself, it allows me to be a bit more free and be a bit more flexible in terms of the shapes that I make. Sometimes I'll have a fixed idea, but that changes instinctively as I make. The field that I work in molecular biology, it's quite visual. As scientists, it's your responsibility to be able to communicate the work that you're doing. And the way to do that is to have some kind of visual understanding. Using an artistic medium such as sculptures or ceramics, I have a way for me to communicate that aspect to not, I guess, just the scientific community, but also generally people. What I strive to achieve is simplicity. I don't tend to glaze the surfaces of the pieces, and that's conscious because I want the clay bodies to take center stage. By having this simplified approach to sculpting, it allows for emphasis more on the shapes and forms in negative space. As soon as you touch the clay, it does feel like it takes you away from where you are and you enter a different world. It almost feels magical. You put something into the kiln, you kind of have an idea but you don't know what to expect and then you unload the kiln and you see something and like, okay, I wasn't expecting this, but it's interesting. Because sometimes you don't know what's gonna happen. It's the unknown.